Today, I'm going to be going over my TBB list or my to be bought list. And it's different than a wish list. A wish list is essentially my list of all the books I want. It includes things like the special edition Wheel of Time that goes for like $1,000 or Folio Society's A Song of Ice and Fire editions, which go for like two or $300 per book. There, a wish list is essentially the books I want but have no plans or capability of actually purchasing. My TBB list, my to be bought list, is a list of the, ne of the next books I'm actually planning to purchase. And I made this list last year in 2022 as well. And on that list was City of Shards, Dragonsteel's edition of Warbreaker, Dreams of the Dying, and then Folio Society's edition of Dracula. And I did pretty good on that list, if you can see my mantelpiece. Uh, I've got all of them except for Dracula's, uh, the Folio Society's edition of Dracula. So now that we're in 2023 and I've essentially gotten all the books on that list except for one, I wanted to update the list and go over my new TBB list. And the first book I'm going to start with is actually a trilogy. It's The Dark Prophet Saga by Zachary Pike, who is an independent author. And I actually mentioned the first book of this trilogy on my TBB list last year, Orconomics. And I mentioned how this book blew me away. People compare Zachary Pike's writing very closely to Nicholas Eames, who wrote Kings of the Wild. And I agree, they both do a really good job of adding humor and fun to their writing without taking away from the seriousness of the story. However, the only thing I'll say is that I think I actually enjoyed this book. I enjoyed Orconomics better than I did Kings of the Wild. So, and I really like Kings of the Wild. So that should show you how good this book was. The only reason it didn't make it on my 2022 TBB list was because I didn't care for the cover. The covers I like are more like the City of Shards covers or Dream of the Dying. Eye of the World. They're very classic covers that have a scene from the book or something or, or more of a representation of the book than what uh, Orconomics is. However, the reason this made it on the 2023 uh, TBB list is because he is currently doing a Kickstarter to launch his third and final book in this trilogy, which is Dragonfire. And in this Kickstarter, he's offering these books in special edition hardbacks. These special edition hardcovers, I think, will take this cover to that next level and make it a book I just have to have. Like, I, I, I love the story. I've wanted the book. And this special edition is just pushing me over the brink. So I backed the Kickstarter. I actually canceled my Audible membership for a few months since I've got some stored up. And I uh, have been using the Libby app so much. I'm using that to offset the cost. And that's not to say it was super expensive. Uh, the books are very affordable for what you're getting. I got all three hardcovers for $90 plus $15 for the slipcase to put them in. So it wasn't that bad. And the Kickstarter is going to August 2nd. So if you want to support a self-published author and are dying to have another book, kind of like with that Nicholas Eames King of the Wilds tone, go check out his Kickstarter. It's on till August 2nd, like I said. And I would really like those colored end sheets, which will we get with a $75,000 reach goal. So check it out. The next book on my list is going to be a book I actually haven't read yet. It jumped onto my TBR because it was one of Brandon Sanderson's suggested reads. And uh, funny enough, it along with Dragon Priest is actually mentioned in his suggested reads list twice. And that book is the Grim Oak Press edition of Barbara Hambly's Dragon's Bane. And the reason this book made it onto my TBB list is actually an interesting story. I actually first learned about Grim Oak Press but from a subscriber. He sent me a link to the special edition version of the Dragon Bow ch Chair, and I was blown away by the cover and quality of that book. Unfortunately, it was out of my price range at the time. I just couldn't pull the trigger on it at the time. So I didn't get that edition, but I've been interested in this company ever since. I've been dying to get a book from Grim Oak Press and kind of see what their quality is, see what the kind of products they look, because from what I can see, they look beautiful. So when I was searching for books available from them, I came across Dragon's Bane for like $35. And like I said, it was already on my radar because um, it was on Brandon Sanderson's uh, suggested reads. So I, when I saw this for only $35 from Grim Oaks Press, I was like, okay, this book's definitely being added to my to be bought list. And they have a cool slip cover for it too. So we'll see if I'm gonna end up adding that or not. But the next book was Dragon's Bane by Grim Oak Press. Moving on to the third book on the list, it's not a special edition. It's just a book from, that you could buy from Barnes and Nobles or Amazon. 
but it's Sword and Citadel. It is the second half of the Book of the New Sun, which I've been talking a lot about on my channel because this book has become my favorite book of all time. And if you can see up there, I've actually got the first half, the Shadow and Claw, which is also happens to be one of my favorite covers of all time. And I'm not going to talk much more about Sword and Citadel. Essentially, I just have to own the complete Book of the New Sun, and I've only got the first half right now. The only thing I will mention is that I love the covers of these, but I feel like they, they missed a great opportunity with these books. Because this is a combination of Shadow of the Torturer and Claw of the Conciliator, and Sword and Citadel is a, is a combination of Sword of the Lictor and Citadel of the Octark, what they should have done is put the Shadow of the Torture on this side and then the cover of Claw of the Conciliator on the back. And I feel like they missed that opportunity and Sword and Citadel is the same way. But number three on the book is going to be Sword and Citadel. Moving on, the next book on the list is going to be the only rollover from my 2022 TBB list, and that is the Folio Society edition of Dracula. And I have a complete review on Dracula, so I'm not going to say too much about it besides the fact that I did not expect a book this old to blow me away this much. Like, it was brilliant. And since then, I had been searching for an edition that kind of matched the tone and quality of the story within. And I couldn't really find anything until I saw the Folio Society's edition of Dracula. It blew me away and was exactly what I was looking for. And it's not as crazy priced as, let's say, uh, the Game of Thrones editions, which go for like two or three hundred dollars a piece. When I made my first uh, TBV video, it was only going for like 70 or 80 bucks. It's up to 90 bucks now, but that's still well worth it for the quality of book you're getting and for capturing the essence of the story inside so perfectly. The last book on the list is going to be from the Folio Society as well, and that's going to be Planet of the Apes. Like Dracula, I think Folio Society just did an amazing version with this book and like, captured what the story was trying to do. I think its interior work isn't necessarily as up to par as, like, let's say, the Dracula version. Um, it's not my favorite, some of the interior artwork, but the exterior, the display of Planet of the Apes um, from the Folio Society just hits the nail on the head. Also, like Dracula, this book isn't going to be outrageously priced. I think this book is like $70 from Folio Society. So you're getting a really good, high quality book without breaking the bank. And with that, that concludes my 2023 TBB list. For everyone watching, I want to know what books make it on your TBB list. And uh, I wanted to tag two other booktubers on here, Christopher Navo and Books with Bengus Khan. Uh, if you wanted to make a video sh making a TBB list and explaining why these books stood out so much and why they're going to be the next ones you buy, uh, I'd be interested to see. And until next time, I hope you're out there uh, reading great new books and exploring cool new worlds. And until then, I'll be back soon. Thanks for watching.